Good morning, Modern Steaders. The rain gauge is working that we fixed yesterday. It says we got over a half inch of rain overnight so far. And it's 34 degrees out right now. Oh, they were calling for snow last night. I'm glad we didn't get that. <laughs> oh, crazy white chicken, you spent the night outside. Look at that. Good morning, pork. You want some breakfast? Come on and chops. Ah, you don't want to eat that. Here, have some grain. I wonder how Willow's babies did last night in this chilly night. We don't need this weather anymore. It's the middle of May. It's supposed to be nice out. Come on and sleepy heads. Is that rain making you sleep? Huh? Making you not want to get up this morning? Don't worry Willow, I didn't forget about you. Hey baby goats. You guys all seem to be doing so good. Here, Will, let me put it in your bucket. There you go. Good morning there, little P. Yes, good morning, little P. I think we're gonna name this one little P, and we need names for these two. What are you doing, little P? Yes. Oh, don't let Gina, I won't tell Gina you came up to me this morning. She'll be jealous. Yeah, come on, little P. Let's get Willow some grain. The grain helps Willow keep up with milk production. And then I'm also giving her some milk made herbs. I'll put that right on top of her food. You're nice and warm. Let's fill your ears. Oh yeah, you guys are warm. That's good. Number one priority, keep the babies warm. Hop skipping in and jumping. That's some good food. You kiddos stay warm. Feed them lots of milk today, Willow. Is that some good alfalfa this morning, girls? There, have some hay too while you're at it. Bring that back in for Willow. There you go, have some fresh hay. The babies are already nibbling on hay. It's good to see that. Willow's gonna eat her herbs last. She's picking around them for now. Little P, do you like the hay? The little boy's eating the hay too. As much as I wanna stay down here all morning, we can't, we still gotta get Olivia on the school bus. <laughs> Okay, girls, I'll be back down in a little bit to check on everyone. We got all the other animal chores still to do. It's gonna be so interesting to see what happens when all the goats are together. I'm sure Hope is gonna love having some younger kids with her. Enjoying your breakfast? That pasture is greening up nicely. Once we get a couple of days of sun after all this rain, I can't wait to see how fast this grass grows. Oh
on my head, just on my chest. To the sound of voices and of drums. Can't get over how fast the grass right over here has been growing up. I will show you how the West was That's looking nice. We left New York City with our windows down. We couldn't see the trees and it was too damn loud. I will stand on your border and I'll search through the clouds. Yeah, we left New York City with our windows down. You're getting the pieces I dropped, Tanner. It looks like the meat birds did good in the chilly night. You're all spread out, so that means you're nice and warm. You're just hanging out up there by yourself. If the meat birds are all huddled together, that's when you know they're cold. They're huddled together, it means they're trying to get each other's body heat. Being spread out the way they are, we know they're nice and warm. Have a good day at school. Your baby goats will be waiting for you when you get home. Is that something fun to look forward to? Yes. Yeah. Have fun at your concert today. I've been inside editing for a while now, and it's still raining out, but it's a good time to take a break. And go check on the goat, see how the babies are doing. I hear Hope, she's out in this crazy weather, she don't mind. Uh, the goat from the warmest climate is always out in the most miserable weather. What are you doing? Huh? I want to know how the babies are doing in this weather. I see Willow, she's lying down. Let's not disturb her if we don't have to. Oh, her babies are sleeping. We're not gonna disturb you and your babies, Willow. We're gonna let you be. Give you a little bit more hay. What are you doing, little pea? Little pea wants a drink. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna go back out. They're all nice and cuddled up, staying warm with each other. I don't wanna bother them too much. They're nice and content. So, I'll leave them be for now. When it warms up later on, we'll go back in there. What do your piggies think? We've been getting a lot of people asking us why we feed our pigs on the dirt and not in a trough. If we put it in a trough, they usually knock it over anyways. And the biggest reason is, is pigs eat dirt anyways. So no matter what, your pigs are gonna eat dirt. And we actually wanna encourage our animals to peck the ground, like our chickens or the pigs. We wanna encourage them to dig in the dirt, eat the dirt and eat bugs and grubs. It's a natural in their diet. So putting the grain on the ground is encouraging that. Oh, hey, we forgot to start some seeds the other day. We never started our broccoli. I guess we couldn't start it because we forgot to order the seeds. So we picked some up in town the other day. Oh, I don't want to show you. There you go. All the soil blocks right where we left everything. Summer snow When it falls on you Your blood runs cold But don't you sweat Your pretty skin 
Cause it melts away for it's sincere And you dream about this very night When the moon rolls down the summer sky Could it be the morning of the spring you Give it a good push down And then I'll release it Try to get them as close as possible to each other so we can get more soil blocks in there. This year I was thinking about companion planting our broccoli and our cauliflower with our garlic because garlic helps keep bugs away. So I'm, in my head I'm thinking it should help keep away all the little moths and worms that get into the garlic heads, the garlic heads, the broccoli heads and the cauliflower heads. If you have any experience with that, knowing if it's a good idea or a bad idea, leave it in the comments down below. I'd love to get your experience. So hard, only trying to get a couple of seeds per hole. These seeds are so tiny. I need tweezers. It's amazing how many seeds come in a little package. You don't think it's a lot, but we just did 36 soil blocks with at least two seeds in each block, and we barely even put a dent in that little package. The little tiny roots in that cauliflower are doing so good. They look like little fuzz balls. I wonder how long it'll be before we start seeing roots coming out of the big soil blocks from the tomatoes and the pepper plants. I think in the next week or so we'll be starting to see some roots. Normally on the pig fences I use an aluminum wire and at the end of every season or when I want to move them it looks like this and it's a mess. This year we're going to try something new. I ordered Terra Braid electrical fence wire. It's a nylon material, it's more flexible, it's a lot lighter, and it came pre-spun on this reel. So before we go ahead and we set up the pasture for the pigs with this, I want to set, up, set it up in their pen right now because the wire looks a little bit different, so I want the pigs to know that, hey, this wire hurts too, not to go through it. Be interesting to see how this goes with the pigs being in here. You digging for anything good? I get this fence hooked up I'm gonna keep them occupied with some grain I don't want them trying to eat the fence before it's electrified hey go see the train there you go I was just about to test the fence to see if it was working. Now they're being very cautious. He's going to go for it again. 
I'm glad to see each one of them got shocked by it right in front of us. It took Pork a second before he got zapped. It's because the electric fencer, they're on a pulse. They're just like Because if they kept the steady current going through them, it would melt the wire. So, and it would go through a lot more power. Now they're inside going, ah, uh, yikes. We'll stay in here for a little bit. I don't enjoy the pigs getting zapped, but I like seeing it because that way I know that they touched the fence and now they respect it. They're hiding. They know now that that fence is up and that is a barrier that's going to keep them in because they're not going to want to cross that again. What do I think after the first time using this fence in real? This is awesome. This fence is so easy to manipulate, to set up. Having it on a reel like this is so convenient. You're not holding it in that little tiny spool and it's not falling off on you. Oh, guys, this works great. I talked with the owners of the company after we already purchased ours. So this isn't a sponsored video. We're not getting any kickback. But there's going to be a link in the description down below to their website. And there's a $20 off coupon code if you want to use that towards a reel or anything else on their website. The name of the company is American Grazing Services. There'll be a link and a promo code in the description down below. Oh, this is going to make it so much easier for moving the pigs around and setting up fence. It's decided to start raining out again. <laughs> I'm glad we got done with the pigs fence when we did. They're inside hiding from the rain. <sighs> it's time to go check on the baby goats. You know, it's a terrible thing when you have baby goats. You got to constantly go in and check on them, pick them up, hold them, cuddling, cuddle them, you know. All that bad stuff. You guys don't want to be raising goats, do you? I'm gonna trick them with a little bit of alfalfa pellets. Oops. In the feeder. This way we can get in and see Willow without any other goats trying to get in. Hey there, girl, girl. There you go, Willow. What are you doing, little man? Huh, what are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? You're Gina's favorite, little P. You are. You're Gina's favorite. Oh, you lying down for me to pet you? Oh, you're so silly. You're nice and warm. I can feel all your body heat coming off of you. Must be nap time. They're chewing their cud. You want to get down? How you doing, Mama? Libby's will be home shortly to come see you girls. And you too. Oh, now they're going to milk. They're noisy eaters. It's funny how loud they can be when they're drinking. What are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? they will be back down in a little while. What are you doing, Mr. Figaro? You wanna come in? You wanna come in the house? Huh, you wanna come in? Are you teasing the cat or is the cat teasing you there, Tanner? It's raining out right now and I have a hankering for some oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. So it's a perfect time to make them. I'm gonna need one cup of packed brown sugar. Half of a cup of white sugar. One cup butter. We love Kerrygold butter. We find it makes a huge difference in our baked goods. Let's get them in the mixing stand. We'll get it mixed. Ooh. 
We're gonna use three small pullet eggs. If you have large eggs, two eggs is perfect. Oh, those yolks are so orange. It must be because the chickens are out eating grass and bugs. Wow, look at that. Look how orange those yolks are. Get those stirring. Couple of splashes of vanilla. I got some new fence for the pigs today and they touched it. They did? And now they're hiding inside. You piggies hiding because of the rain or you hiding because you, your feelings got hurt when you zapped the fence? I think you're just trying to stay warm, huh? It's not supposed to be 30 degrees in May. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Oh, you... Ah ha ha ha! the second hurt, it hurt, just squealed. <laughs> oh, now he's back home. Welcome. Now we're training him. Yep. <laughs> you hear that little crack on the nose? Yeah. <laughs> Makes me jump every time I hear it. Yeah. Definitely. Wow, I brought you some hay. You want some hay? She says, no, I want like grain or alfalfa pellets. Here comes little P. Yay. She's so friendly, isn't she? Yeah. What are you doing, little man? Huh? What are you doing, little man? Willow. You got some bad breath. Oh, you got both the girls over there? Yeah. They want to say hello? Yeah. Oh, they see the fresh hay. What are you doing, little pea? Huh? What are you doing? Yes, silly. Little pea wants a drink. And so does the other one. What are you doing, Willow? You're silly. You're so friendly, little pea. Look at this one. It was under your leg. Oh my goodness. That little pea needs a drink. says, hey, there's only two nipples and there's three of us. I need a teat. <laughs> you took little P's teat. He said, yes, I did. You ready to go in and get ready for your concert? Yeah. Okay. That's... How's your hay? In a couple of weeks, you'll have some little small goats to play with, Hope. You're going to love it. 
And I bet they're going to love playing with you, huh? I think you and little P are going to be best friends. Yep. You are. We're going to New York City. To New York City. Yeah, to New York City. Follow Pluto. <laughs> Sounds like we got a chicken laying an egg in New York City right now. Nope, I'm not seeing any chickens in the nesting boxes. I need to clean out the nesting boxes tomorrow. They're getting dirty. Did you see the snack I made? Yeah. They are oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. Yeah. You want one? No, you can't have one. This one looks the best. No, this one looks the best. Okay. I'll eat this one if you insist. Mm -hmm. Read a new quote today that I loved and I have to share it with you. Not all storms come to disrupt your life. Some to come to clear a path. Man, I love that. That just goes with the saying, life's not happening to you, it's happening for you. Sometimes even the crappiest of crappy situations have a purpose. I've always found that. If I look back and think think about stuff that's happened, you might not be able to see it right away, but after a while you can go, ah. Oh, I did grow from that, or something good did come out of that. So when we're in the storms, we need to learn how to dance in the storms. There's always something good that's going to come out of it. So thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. You are a huge blessing to us in our homestead, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.